The Univolt let out its signature ding to let us know that it's ready to bake a pizza. And our grocery store pizza dough is looking amazing and ready to top. We're going classic pizza margarita here. And that's starting with a really simple tomato forward sauce here. You can find my pizza sauce recipe. It's on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. It's really simple. And it's also in my new cookbook, the Epic Outdoor Pizza Oven Cookbook. Tons of recipes in there and some techniques to make amazing pizza at home. All right, got a, two scoops of sauce there. That looks like plenty to me. And then I like to go basil in the bake for my pizza margarita. That's the classic way to go and it really perfumes up nicely. And I also like to go pretty big on it. Let's go pretty generous here. Looking really good to me. Those basil leaves separated out. I have about four ounces of fresh mozzarella here. I actually picked this up from Trader Joe's along with the pizza dough. The organic fresh mozzarella is really not bad at all. Bakes up pretty nicely. Gonna go, I probably won't use the full four ounces on this one pie, but we like to go pretty generously here. Get a few more pieces on the pie. Look at that, maybe one more right in there. Looking really nice, check it out. Classic pizza margarita. And let's hit it with a little bit of olive oil. The little drizz there. All right, this pizza looks amazing. Let's get it into the vault. You can do one little final shake here before we go in. I'm just going with the default Neapolitan style settings on the Uni Volt today. This oven is pretty sweet because you got this little controller here. If we notice that it's baking too hot on the top or the bottom, we can start playing with it to make sure we get dialed in for a really nice bake. See if our dough is puffing up. So far, so good. I am really am impressed with what you can pull off using grocery store pizza dough. All it takes is a little bit of love along the way and you can really produce some amazing pizza. I see the cheese bubbling up and major puffage going on. Let's take a look in here. Maybe take it for a little turn and take a look at the dough puffing up really well. Wow, look at that pie. Grocery store pizza dough in the Uni Volt. Baking up pretty nicely so far. Take a little peek at the bottom. On our way to a good pie, it looks like. Seeing all sorts of action going on inside the Uni Volt. Let's take a look inside. It might be on the home stretch here. Take it for another turn. Browned up really nicely. Look at that pie. I just think it needs a little bit longer on the back. The bottom is looking really nice. Maybe just 15, 20 seconds here. This pizza is smelling amazing. Grocery store pizza dough in the Uni Volt. Let's take a look, the pizza margarita. Wow, check out this pie. Looking really good, super cheesy. Can you guys see it? Let's see the bottom here. I'm gonna just let it hang out on the rack for a few seconds here. Let it set up and we'll take it for a taste. Grocery store pizza dough baked up in the Uni Volt. Overall, the pie looks pretty epic to me. The true test is the taste, and let's see, is it a crunchy bake, or really check out the texture. Overall, it baked up really nicely, I felt really easy to bake, and that's thanks to the little secrets that I shared with you in my first vid on how to make epic pizza, epic pizza using grocery store pizza dough. Check out the bake, it looks really bomb overall, dripping olive oil there. Let's get in it. Can never go wrong with a pizza margarita. And if you're in a pinch and need to use grocery store pizza dough, tastes pretty darn good to me. I'm stoked on this pizza. Check out my vids on how to make epic pizza at home. I go into all the secrets on how to make grocery store pizza dough awesome. You can check out my recipes up on SantaBarbaraBaker.com and also in my cookbook, the Epic Outdoor Pizza Oven Cookbook. I love you all. One love.